Hi, this is Toby and today I'll be showing you how to grow succulents from stem cuttings. Now, I would have made a video already on how to grow succulents from leaf cuttings and I'll link that in the description below. And I think by the time that this video comes out, it probably will already be out. So we're gonna start with stem cuttings today. And the difference is that instead of using a single leaf, so something like that, we're gonna use the entire stem of a succulent. So this was actually one that I grew from a leaf cutting myself around four years ago. And obviously you can see it's grown massive. It's getting a bit leggy. It kind of fell over once when it was, had wind. So it lost a lot of its leaves. This is what the leaves look like. I still have to pot these up. I just haven't had time to pot them up. But we're gonna grow them from stem cutting. So, in fact, I'm gonna cut this all the way back like that. All of this can be used at stem cuttings. Same with the other side. I'm gonna cut it back just so that we only have these two stems and we're not gonna throw this away. Very important, you can still keep these. And you can make several cuttings out of this. This is a bit, there's a bit of damage here that we will discard. But to take the cuttings, I would say just around a bit more than an inch of stem. And again, just pick the leaf off. You don't want some leaves on the bottom. Leave it like that and we'll leave it to dry. So I'll put that over there. Again, these leaves you can propagate using my, this, the way I propagated my other videos. So, and this, Again, you can still propagate more of this. So if I just cut a stem like that, this can be propagated. So we're going to put that aside to have to have it dry for around a day. So what I'm doing is just cutting these up like that. And these can all be used as stem cuttings. You can plant them like this, you can plant them like that. Just don't plant them upside down. So these will all go there. Now the same process will be used on the other one. So again, I'm gonna leave about an inch of stem on the bottom, just like that. And see how there's leaves here? What I'm gonna do is pick the leaves. I still wanna propagate them. That might've been a bit of a bad rip, but that's fine, we still propagate that. Make sure they come clean off so you can propagate the leaves. Put that aside. And again, take some of the leaves off. Put that over there. So that's done with this. We've cut that off. We'll let that rejuvenate. This was just a little planting I made for fun. And there's a little sedum here that I'll show you how to propagate. Same sort of technique. You cut a bit of the stem off, depending on where you want it. In fact, these scissors are a bit clumsy I use the other scissors and anything that I just don't want I can just give it a prune now after making this more compact all of this can be used as cuttings so if you can see what I'm doing just taking bits of the stem off so with something like this I will just take a bit of the bottom leaves away gently, like this. Just so you have a bit of stem, you can stick into the ground or into wherever you want to plant them. Like that, and this will grow nicely. So I'm just gonna continue cutting away at this. Making it more compact and propagating these stem cuttings. And all this growth has grown within three months, I'd say. So, a lot of growth. A bit too much growth, I'd say. So, I'm going to prune this hard back. So, I can get lots more little sedums. So, all of these cuttings I will leave to dry. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with them tomorrow. I'll get a bit more from other succulents and then we're gonna start planting them tomorrow. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start planting them and I got three pots. Let me just even up the soil a bit here. But I've got three pots. These are just 
Cacti Cyclone makes you buy from the store. Again, I'm not gonna use my good soil. And if you wanted to see what soil I use for a lot of my plants, I have a video for that. I'll link in the description below. But back to this. And what we're gonna do is, let's just grab a stem from our cuts yesterday. You can see it's peeled over nicely. It doesn't need to heal over more than that. You can see I've got a lot of cuttings. I'm not gonna show you all of them putting them into pots i don't want to waste your time doing that but when you grab something like this what i wanted want to to do is remember we start to end down very important and all we're going to do is use our finger make a little hole stick the plant in the hole it might fall over a bit add a bit more soil if you want just wedge it in and that's pretty much it and you care for it just as if it had roots water around once a week put a sunny windowsill I will get some more soil and put some on just so it stabilizes. So we're gonna pack the soil around it and that's how you propagate your cuttings. Now I know the pot looks a bit small, it doesn't really matter. Once it starts growing, I might move it out. Now we're gonna take one of our stems here. So this is the stem with a cut on both sides. Now you can either plant it the right way up like that, which I'll show you with this one. You can plant it like that. And something might grow out of it. Never waste your stems or if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, so here's another stem. You can, first of all, let me just cut some of these long roots back. They, they will grow back, it doesn't really matter. What you can do is actually lay it on its side and then cover it with a bit more soil, like that. So remember to leave the stem open like that. Also give it normal care and that's pretty much it for propagating. You can use bigger pots, smaller pots, and if you, you feel more adventurous, you can get a massive tray and just put a load of cuttings in and propagate a bunch of them and you can sell them, give it to your friends, whatever you do with them. I might do that, but not on such a large scale. I've got all these cuttings I need to plant. So I better get to doing that and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished. So here they are. They're all propagated in these little pots. And this is kind of like a little propagation station here. So I might do over the course of this video, I might do a different bit more types. Maybe I'll do them with other videos, but here they are. And once there's growth, I'll show you. So here's an update of the little boxes. Now some of the stems did die back. That's fine. These have already rooted. If I lift it up, you can see roots are holding it in place. So these stem cuttings root very easily, if I just come around to the side. These stem cuttings have rooted very easily. Some of these, the leaves have rooted. Because it's warm again now, they root very quickly. The little sedums, they all start to have, start to have new growth. And I'll show you some of the sedums. I just planted straight into some soil from where I cut it. You can see those two are planted straight in and they've already started growing as well. So very easy. The ones that pruned starting to grow back. So very easy to grow from stem cuttings even these kalanchoes you can see start to grow very easy okay and these you can separate into individual pots the original plant that i cut off starting to get some little pups on the side so that's very very good and if you can hear there's a lot of cicadas and it's very very warm so that's what's going on that's why it's very very loud and finally got warm days, which is why they're growing really quickly. Here's an update of the stem cutting. You see now the larger Kalanchoes that I got out of camera. They've grown very quickly. These little stems have started to grow. The sedums that I put in here, they're all starting to grow. You can see that. Look at that, that's new growth. So I better start potting these up soon. You see, even with the leaves I took off the larger guys, one of them has actually started to crest. So I will be taking that one out later. Here's the original plant, you can see it's grown back. But that one has started to crest. So I will take that one out, but everything else we'll keep and yeah. So this is a final update of all the cuttings we grew. And I think, I'm not gonna repot it now. I'll probably repot next season, but to prove everything's grown, look at the sedum that we placed in here. I can't remember how many we placed in here, but it's all just one big mass now. And next year we're gonna have to separate as many plants as we want. It's grown so much that we could probably propagate this again. And this is just one season of growth. Remember, I didn't fertilize this. 
was grown as if it had roots. And if I quickly show you the stems that we stuck in the soil, you can see they've grown as well. The leaves, these were from the leaves. The other stems, one of them didn't grow, but the other, the other ones did, that one did. The ones we cut off, the two heads obviously did. These karankoes, they grew. And the original plant here, the one that we cut it off, you see loads of new pups on it, so that's really good. But back to what we did with the stems, you can see very successful again with a lot of succulents you can grow from stem cuttings but with stuff like euphorbia and stuff that'll be in a different video so i'll make specific videos for those and anything else but this is just generally your pretty common succulents you can do it with stuff like this i can't i don't know what this is but you probably you could do it with stuff like this do it with ectavirias if you have a long stem definitely sedums kankoys so if you have any of these succulents, even this and crassulas, if you so again, if you have this succulent that your friend wants or something, always try you can propagate it like this and give it to them. So thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment sections below, and I'll answer them. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next one. Bye.